been around 40 years since Durrell received its first tamarins and we've been working with golden lion tamarins, black lion tamarins, golden headed lion tamarins, pied tamarins, many different species. And tamarins are fantastic small little intelligent primates that are from the forests of Central and South America. And it was in the 1980s that some tamarins from Jersey went back to Brazil and were reintroduced in Rio de Janeiro state. And indeed the Jersey tamarins were the, the first ones to breed successfully in the wild. So these are the critically endangered pied tamarins. They're only found from the heart of the Amazon rainforest. And unfortunately, their habitat has been destroyed at an alarming rate. Here at Durrell, we've been working with the species for 20 years now, and it's only just in the last 10 years that we've been really able to have success in sustained breeding. Apart from the problems the species has in the wild, it also is extremely sensitive in captivity, and it needs to have these big, large enclosures with private inside areas. Right, these are fantastic little pine tamarins that were born about seven weeks ago now. Unfortunately, they were rejected by their mother, so we had to hand rear them. And just now, we're actually fostering them into a group, and all's going well. As you can see, they're very, very lively. One of the problems with pied tamarins is that they're very, very difficult to breed in captivity. And in the past, especially, they've fallen ill with things like wasting syndrome, metabolic bone disease. Anyway, one of the things we've done here at Jersey is to concentrate, really focus in on those problems that the species has in captivity so that we can build up enough numbers in captivity to have a safe population in captivity and it has to be genetically diverse you know you cannot have an inbred population and these babies along with others that have been born this year and last year help to secure that safety net population and now there are 12 zoos who are taking part in the captive breeding of this species so in the wild if you imagine there's this city right in the heart of their very very small range and it's like a tidal wave of concrete as you, if you like, it's expanding out and engulfing the forest fragments that these animals live in. So what's happening is you'll see these tiny fragments of forest within the city and there might be two or three towns left in them, there might be two or three families left in them. But without that ability to join and disperse, they're doomed. They will literally, they'll die, they'll be genetic inbreed and they'll die. Plus the fact that a lot of these urban fragments become very, very degraded. You know, people use them as a dumping ground. When I was there just in July, we were trying to catch some tamarins from a, a fragment that was being brought down with a JCB while we were actually there. And there were dump fridges and televisions there. It was very much like any old bit of waste, waste ground in a, in a European city. But the th difference was that in that fragment, there were the rarest monkeys in the Amazon. And they, this was their last kind of holdout, if you like. And so those animals in those doomed fragments need to be saved. And we need to find a reserve that we can protect for the, the future for the species. Otherwise, the species will go extinct in the wild.